And when the big transition came, Chancellor left it, and I and I uh, came in as anchor. Uh, they hired Pat Fontaine, and she was uh, just kind of a person to be there uh, all the time. She wasn't the anchor, but she was. Uh, I don't know they had a title for her. Mm -hmm. When she left, Maureen O'Sullivan came in, who. Uh, uh, it was a lovely person, uh, but she wasn't right for the show, and the show wasn't right for her. And when they, when she left, they were combing a roster of movie stars again. For, and I said, why don't we develop our own talent instead of going to another medium for it? And they said, well, such as, and I said, such as Barbara Walters. And they said, she's a writer, which uh, she was. She was there when I came on today. And, um, and she wrote and produced the segment that welcomed me onto the program and uh, did such a nice job. And I said, well, I, I think she'd do well on the air. And uh, so they grudgingly let me put her on once a week for a short time and then twice a week and then pretty regularly. And I always sound like a midwife when I talk about Barbara's career, but I, I didn't discover her. She discovered herself, but she did such good work that uh, pretty soon she was, she was a regular then throughout my tenure till I left. And uh, Frank McGee succeeded me, and when Frank died, they made Barbara co-host with uh, Jim Hartz, and, uh, and her career was then really launched. We've worked together one way or another uh, with a hiatus when I was uh, one of my retirements <laughs> between 71 and 78, and when I started the uh, Over Easy. Um, we've worked together now for, what would, what would you say, uh, on, on today? for probably eight years, and on this one together as co-anchoring for uh, 14, and uh, because she's been on since, uh, for about 14 of the mm -hmm. 20 years. <clears throat> yeah, this, it was somehow we were destined to be working together. <laughs> Did you find it uh, that she had a lot of obstacles to overcome because, first of all, she was a woman in a time when women were not yeah. hired for yeah. those positions? There was a lot of bad press that she got undeservedly that uh, was, uh, uh, I think from insecure males who resented the fact that she was paid a lot of money and that her ambitions were unfolding in a way that uh, maybe they would have liked. I don't know. Uh, it was, and then she was paid more. You know, when she was the first woman to uh, co-anchor a, a nightly news for mm -hmm. a network, and the fact that she was paid a million dollars, which was more than anybody was making at that time, those I guess that bred some resentments, but um, they attacked her uh, very falsely. Mm -hmm. In many ways. Why do you think she has been so successful? I think one of the reasons is that she's such a good interviewer because she really represents the viewer on the other side of the tube in this way. If a guest of hers gives an evasive answer and you're sitting home watching it and you think, yeah, but what about, that's Barbara's next question, yeah, but what about? And she will represent, she won't leave you hanging and leave something ambiguous there. And sometimes that, that uh, persistence has led people to think that she's abrasive, but I've never heard, I've never seen her attack a guest or be unfair to a guest. She'll, she goes on the premise, and I think she's quite correct, that there's no such thing as an embarrassing question. There are only embarrassing answers. You know, there are false questions, like, have you stopped beating your wife? You mm -hmm. know? But she asks fair questions, and, she, and very directly. She doesn't waste an awful lot of energy on the lubrication of tact. And I saw her one time on a, on a <laughs> interviewing Gerald Ford, I guess, and uh, he was talking about how, you know how he came to be president, because as vice president he moved into the job, and he had said he wouldn't run again, but then he decided, uh, he, he decided to run. And uh, now what was it? She, she asked him about a tactic of that, and he said, uh, that way, he said, and that way, Barbara, we think uh, we can get reelected. And she said, you mean elected? And then he said, uh, elected, because he, had, he hadn't been elected, you know. So, mm -hmm. But she was merely correcting the record, you know. And, uh, uh, so that directness sometimes has led people to think she's abrasive. But she really is quite kind to people, and uh, she's just very, very direct in representing the person tuned in.